Squeak! Hey, what's up guys? So, we're back with um, some more Ant Farm Survival. And there's one thing I've changed and it's not with um, the map or anything so you don't have to worry about like missing out on anything but um, I switched versions of Optifine so I'm not sure if that's gonna make too much of a difference or not but um, I switched to the smooth version and it's supposed to have something to do with like making it easier to uh, or making it to where the game doesn't like lag and freeze as much and I'm hoping that'll help me out with recording um, because in the last couple episodes I've noticed um, that it has gotten a little skippy in some places and it's kinda cut out for like a second like it's nothing major but I mean it'd be something that wouldn't be too bad to um, avoid <laughs> so uh, in this episode I think what I want to do is grow trees. Um, no. I want to go down to the place where the melons were in the first episode and grab those so I can make me an infinite water source. So I can make me some sort of farm. And I'm still not sure where I want to do that at. I think I actually want to do it over there where the cows normally were. Um, but I'm um, still not very sure on that. Because I kind of want to have like a little bit more land than that's over there, but then again, I don't think I'll be having too much of like a gigantic major farm kind of thing. So I think uh, I think that should do actually. I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with that. So let's plant some of these down. And yeah, I know that one over there grew, but uh, we have pretty decent amount of uh, wood, so. We'll keep it like this for now. So the infinite water source is down here. Are the spiders? Yeah, the spider spawner is still there. Well, that's not too big of a problem. I don't know how he got over here. Oh, jeez. Ah, I think I know what happened. There's probably a spawner over there near the um the sk spider spawner and it probably spawned on my stairs actually, which means I need to watch out when I go up or else I'm going to get killed and that's not going to be good. I need to fix these stairs. Um I don't have any dirt. I would put wood, but that'd be kind of uh wasteful. Ooh. No. I can actually go up this. <laughs> I didn't even expect it. That's one of the things I actually like about the uh, vines. I don't know if it's an actual glitch or not. Like, <laughs> it's just one of those um, weird kind of things that just happens. But um. I've noticed that you can do that, which is kind of cool. Um, you can just place them like way up there, and then even though it's not actually growing on the block, like it can be growing beside it all the way down, and then you can still kind of like press up against the block and kind of climb up it like that, which is cool. It's pretty helpful. I think I want to keep the um, infinite water source somewhere over here, um, just just because uh, I think it would be easier access to get it over here and then we can do um, whatever we want with the rest of it um, or we can move it wherever we want to um, later and I'm not too sure what I want to do about the animals so far I know I'm gonna have to like start breeding them and making a like food source out of those but um, still kinda looking around with that idea. I want these vines to grow all the way down. And I think I want to get rid of these actually. Um, just to have it look like this is the actual designated area for uh, climbing out of this hole. <laughs> um, so let's climb up 
here. We're getting some pretty good trees. Um, I think I'll start cutting those down at night and just letting maximum growth happen during the day. Ugh, almost. That wasn't going to be good. Um, I do want to bring another one back and plant it right there, though, um, just so I can kind of... I probably could have made this easier just to make the infinite water source over there, but I don't know. Ow. So let's grab one of these. Actually, if we're going to start farming, let's get our seeds and let's make us a, a hoe. Do we, yeah, we have our furnace. We can half stack that. And we can make some sticks and a hoe. So there it is. And I guess I'll throw the rest of my saplings in here. Oh, didn't need to do that. I don't know if I want to put doors on it or not. Like, I don't know if it'd be worth it. I think I like it having, or I like it being just open here. I think I do want to make it to where it's three high all around, though. Like, I don't have a problem with this little archway here. But, um, yeah. Actually, you know what I want to do is I kind of want to just open up all of this here, and I knew that would be open. And I want to grab this torch, and I'll put it here, and I'll open up the archway even more, just to have like a bigger view, and I want to move all of my stuff over to this area. I kind of like to have it against the back wall, and perfect timing for that. Let's break it with the wooden pig just so I don't waste anything else. So let's throw that there, and then we'll end up getting us a uh, double chest. I don't think I really need it right now, so I don't, I don't see the point in making it yet. And we can just toss some of the old junk in here. I can throw these in there for now. Um, we're just on kind of a farming mission as of right now. I don't know, I kind of want to open this up a little bit more too. <laughs> I didn't really expect to do house maintenance today, but no better time than the present. side. Kind of ruins the archway on this side, but I don't know. This is kind of cool, I guess. I'm just afraid there's not going to be too much light, so there's going to be like monsters spawning everywhere, but I don't want to waste a whole lot of torches everywhere. Cow. Um, I'm actually... I'm feeling pretty good about the monsters around here. Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> I was feeling good about the monsters. So let's just plant this down here. Ah, uh, I forgot my my pick. Real quick, I know there's a spawner in there, um, so I think we're going to take it out, because I mean, we do have to eventually take them all out, and I'm not really helping my cause with this whole health thing. So, just in case, we'll put all of our stuff up, except for this pick. Um, actually, I don't do this a whole lot, but we might as well repair this pick. Alright. And I want to take a couple torches. Put it on there. Alright. And I don't know if I want any building materials or anything. I should be good as far as that goes. I'll take I'll take six dirt. And 
drop anything, did I? Alright, so... I kind of want to clean up some of those vines, too. And then I need to go figure out what happened to that pig, because we kind of just, like, threw him under the bridge. Because <laughs> that zombie kind of mauled us there a little bit ago. Um, let's drop down. Um, sure, we'll put the torch there. I don't, I don't remember if I did that one or not, actually. I don't like second-guessing myself. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a spawner down there. There you guys are. They're kind of annoying, so I kind of want to get rid of them just because they're annoying. Oh, and there's a skeleton. What am I... <laughs> uh, I should really think things through more. I don't even have a sword. Kind of lighten everything up. I need to light this up, too. And I need to stop wasting my health. Alright, so I know there's probably not even going to be a point to having the skill points, but I don't know. I feel it'll be cool to get to the end with a bunch of skill points just in case. Um, I actually want to make a stone sword just in case, but we will use the uh, wooden one while we're there. I'll just have this one just in case for backup. So, I hope you guys are actually liking this series. I mean, it's not... I don't normally do that many adventure maps. Or, not adventure maps, but survival maps in general. I mean, like I said before, I've done Skyblock like three times. But, um... I don't know, I feel Skyblock really just died out. So, I kind of quit on it, too. Hello. I like the new AI system, because they don't just shoot you out of random anymore. So it's kind of like a cheat code. <laughs> yeah, you guys suck. Silverfish are gay. Um, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, and we're good. There's some special treats down here. I hate this. I have kind of a weirdish kind of little thing here. I'll light this up too, just so monsters don't just start spawning down here and making weird noises, and I hate it. Make everything look all nice for this lovely little hole. No! Ah, oh, man. But I need food anyway, so... I'll do some farm maintenance sometime. Dang it, where do you have a bone meal? Alright, that's at least good. Uh, there's one of those freezes. So I don't think this Optifine thing's gonna work out too much for fraps. But, you know, I tried. <laughs> I mean, my computer specs aren't the greatest, so that could have something to do with the whole um, not running that great kind of thing. So let me slide down here and I think I actually want to cut the trees real quick and then I'm gonna go mining for the rest of um, our things and try to get that pig we'll throw this piece of dirt in there no not the torches dirt we can actually put this up too because all I'm gonna do is come up here and cut trees it's actually getting daytime again which is cool I actually didn't feel like I wasted too much time that night, actually. <laughs> and I think we have enough saplings now to where we can kind of just let them fall on their own. I don't really feel like I, I need to collect them. They're not as important now. I mean, of course they're important. I just don't. I just think I've got enough now to where um, if I do lose a few, I think I have enough to uh, kind of repopulate the tree farm. I will grab uh, just enough to... Uh, replant right now so we can get a new harvest tomorrow and I kinda want you guys to let me know um, on something I mean I know it's a challenge but I kinda want to 
break the rules on the challenge. Like, it says to destroy all 14 or so mob spawners. I'm not exactly sure how many it is. But I want to know if you guys think it'd be better if I kind of uh, made an experience or, like, item grinder out of it. Um, I know the experience probably wouldn't be as helpful. But, um, the items may help depending on what kind of spawner it is. Like, if it's a skeleton spawner, it'll definitely be more helpful because of, uh, bones and bone meal and stuff. But I don't know, you guys can kind of, uh, comment and let me know about that. I mean, either way, I mean, if I have to do it just regularly, I'm not gonna frown on it. <laughs> it's just something you gotta do for the regular map either way, so. It's just a little added bonus if you guys want me to. Um... Whoa, 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 no. I don't think so. No, where did you come from? Where did he come from? Oh, yeah, I think I forgot to go and investigate the mob spawner near the spider spawner. Speaking of apple, even though I didn't even say apple, let's eat it. I think that's enough for health regeneration, actually. And... Yeah, health regeneration. It's just a little bit slower. And there's a... I keep forgetting my sword. Go, go, get up there. I kind of want to make a pin for them, too. So after I get enough wood, I kind of want to make, like, a designated area for them to kind of live in. Especially because of the pigs, because they're, for some reason, adventurous. <laughs> And they like to fall in holes that I don't want to go get them out of. I think that sword's pretty much broken. I don't think we even want to take that with us. I'll do something with it eventually, though. I'll just break it over my knee. No, no, no. You're dead. No, no. Get out of here. You suck. Ow. I don't think I want to do a ugh, grinder with um with the um, spider spawner because I don't think it'll be as helpful. I mean, actually, I didn't even think about it. Like, I don't know why I didn't even think about it, but I can do the if I let these spawn just a little bit more, I can uh, make a bed, which will be cool because that'll be really helpful. Like, I didn't even think about it. And there's got to be a spawner around here for silverfish. There it is. And there's one right behind it, so i got to be careful. No, oh, get away from me. Where does this lead to? And it leads to the big dark abyss with creepers and spiders. I don't like it. So we'll kind of avoid that for now. I also want a bow. I think a skeleton spawner would be good for that, too. Um, we can make us a bow and get some arrows from the spiders, not spiders, from the, <coughs> the, um, skeletons, and we could start long-ranging some creepers, which would be good. Um, I don't know. I actually didn't know if I was going to be able to bring you guys a video today or tomorrow whenever I upload this, but because I have, like, a gigantic headache and it's really, like, killing me. But I think, like, even though I'm doing a video, just because I'm talking to myself in my room all alone and my dad went to go get something to eat and he's bringing me back food, which is awesome. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's the fa fact that I'm alone. I just think it's the fact that um, I kind of have something to take my, my, uh, my mind off of uh, you queer. I have something to take my mind off of uh, the headache, which is cool. Alright, you're going down. I've got enough for a wool. Or, a bed now. Ta-da! And I don't need to forget about these cakes, either. Because I think these can be helpful. Um, hey, there's where my other thing comes down. And there's actually skeletons all over here, which means I can get some bone meal, maybe. And I almost fell off there, which would have sucked. Um, ow. Super lag. Alright. Another great advantage to having a really good computer. Just kidding. Um, I want to... No, that is... No. Aw, oh, I ruined it.
Totally forgot. Hello, sir. No. I can eat your meat later, even though it's probably not going to be that good. It's probably going to be like all stale and stuff. It's not going to be good at all. So there's that mushroom. I kind of wanted to get around to it. Oh, no, 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 no. No. You're not cool. Just took you off my friends list. Um, but there's that one, and I'm just going to guess there's another one somewhere else. Um, which means I can kind of get some uh, mushroom stew, which could be helpful at some point. I think uh, mushroom stew would be the best possible uh, food source um, as far as the whole game goes, just because it's um, so not great. But um, either way. Speaking of which, um, I and any possible let's play I ever do ever, I want to find um, one of the um, mushroom biomes, just because um, with the um, with the new mushrooms now, like you can, like if you have a stack of bowls, you can just sit there and just constantly right click on it and just fill up all of your bowls with mushrooms too. I thought that was so cool. Like it's like an endless food source kind of thing. I mean, in a way, it could be overpowered, but I mean, it's so much trouble just to find a mushroom biome in the first place. But if you're one of those like few lucky people that actually spawn with one, like just right there, you're gonna be like so set for life. All you have to do is just get three wood for four bowls, and then you can just renewable resource that to death. I think that is so cool. You'll never have to worry about finding food again. Alright, this is grown up enough to work. See, you can hear them right now. What are they doing and where are they coming from? I swear if there's one like in this wall here, I'm gonna like kill myself. Um, put some stuff up. I want some more torches. We're really using resources to our advantage here. Oh, speaking of which, I can make my bed. I kind of want an actual floor in here, but I mean, we'll get out of here eventually, so I'm not sure if it'd be worth it or not, but I do want to make this as roomy as possible. Um, but as of now, we will throw our bed here. I don't know. I want it more against the wall. Yeah, have a headrest up there, which is dirt. <laughs> Either way, I want that bed. Give me that bed. That bed. Um, so, let's start that up, and ugh, our sword's already getting kind of low, which is not good. Let's go ahead and make another one just in case, but we'll use the, uh, the other one first, just so we can kind of use our resources to advantage. Put my axe up, I don't need it. We might gather some more stone while we're down there. I don't see why we wouldn't. And now that we have more torches, we can do some more exploration kind of deal. Like I said, I really like this room here. I think it could be used to advantage for some kind of mining base. Oh, um, hello, sir. New. No. Get out of here. Homo. No. Oh, he's shooting at me. Creeper. I don't know. I think I need to find some more resources around here. And there's my pig. And my other pig. Don't fall. Ugh. There we go. We're going to find a way down. We have to find a way down to save my piggies. I've noticed that a lot of um, other YouTubers, like um, some of the bigger YouTubers, like since they've played so long, they have like weird like arch enemies with like <laughs> the weirdest of animals and I think it's so hilarious just because they're like, I hate pigs and then every time they see one they'll just, <laughs> they'll like kill it or something. I think it's so funny. 
and I think the wall there glitched out. Oh. We're on the table though, which is cool. Let's put that torch there. And let's collect some of this sand. We can do actual glass or something. Speaking of which, I need to get some wheat so I can lure them up to the top. Um, I'm not going to grab all that because I don't even know what I would use it for. Um, there's you. There you go. You're done. Um, I kind of want to go up there. See what this is all about. Hello, sir. Get out of here. You ain't nothing. I've actually probably been playing for a little while, so this might be a leg. Uh, this actually might be a little bit longer of an episode, which is kind of cool if you like watching longer episodes. But if you don't, I mean, you can just come back and watch it later. And if you don't, um, I'll come to your house, and um, I'll ask you why in a very intense face. It'll be serious, too. You'll know. Um, let's get that. I'm not going to be able to get that, am I? Yeah, we did. Cool. Arrows. Um, I'd love to go down there. Actually, I think the smarter thing to do with that would be, um, kind of just, um, if we went to the other side and kind of tunneled our way through. But I don't think I want to do that right now. Can you break this with... No, I don't think so. Because I can't remember, but there was some kind of material that I didn't even think about it, but there was some material that I don't remember now, but you could break it with a stone pick, and I didn't even realize it. So I probably wasted, like, tons and tons of, like, iron picks on it. But I don't even remember what it is now, so I don't even think I need to worry about it. Vine trimming, my all-time favorite hobby. Um, some of these vines do get in the way. I'm gonna be honest about it. Kind of want to make this more level out too. I think this is where I'm gonna keep all my animals, but I want to make it somehow to have a nice like cover up on that mine there, because I don't want everything um, or all my animals going everywhere. <coughs> But anyways, I think this will be a good stopping point. Like, I think I've been playing for a pretty good little bit. And I mean, I'm probably not going to cut anything out just because you guys can have maximum viewing time <laughs> if you really want to. Um, and I think I'm actually going to get into the routine of doing these every day again just because um, um, my roommates, Derek and Jake, have... Um, they're kind of back up at their grandma's now, so I can kind of chill out and record on a regular day basis uh, without anybody kind of interrupting me, which is cool. Um, it's definitely a plus because I like making videos and kind of mellows me out, which is cool because, I mean, if you guys enjoy my videos, which you better. Um, then uh, there will be more video time in the week. So another thing I kind of want to do in the next episode is we'll kind of adventure over this way. Um, another thing I really want to do is go to the nether um, because there's some kind of like nether ant farm supposedly and it's going to be like so cool. Like I really want to see like how he structured it and everything. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I know it's been a long episode, and... What is wrong with you? I'll beat you up from here. But, yeah, so, um, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next episode. Um, and I'm gonna say it right this time, so... Cue the outro!